Well, uh, post-humanism is, uh, is a, a trend or a movement that is, is uh, not my invention. It's far, it extends far beyond uh, my um, uh, implications in it. Uh, but it, um, it, it concerns the fate of humanity and uh, uh, for the entire reign of, of humanity to date, a uh, uh, hundred thousand years, or if you go back to the hominids, uh, four million years, we have had basically the same uh, genetic uh, structure. But now that it becomes apparent that we can tamper with our genes, it raises in uh, the question of what we will become, what will the post-human life be like, and. Um, uh, you start to think about how narration, which is so essential to human nature, how that itself uh, could change. So um, it, it's, um, it's like trying to imagine yourself as a genius or as uh, an alien. It's hard often to do, to put your mind into the, the mind of some uh, future um, descendant of ours. But we try, as science fiction writers, we try to do the impossible and imagine what um, uh, this new altered humanity, how they would think, how they would, what their emotions would be, how they would react uh, to common uh, passages in, in the life of any person. So uh, that's post-humanism as I see it. It's just um, uh, a way of kind of envisioning what will happen to the species after we began uh, tampering with our heritage, which has persisted basically unchanged for so long. Uh, you know, do we, it seems that we're intent on changing it, and so we should start to think about it ahead of time before we make, make a lot of bad mistakes as we have in the past.